Robin and I just arrived at the Manresa Castle and we're gonna spend the night here tonight. Because <laughs> it is one of the haunted Victorian homes here in Port Townsend. There's supposed to be two ghosts here at least, a man and a woman, and we're gonna be here and it's a full moon tonight. It's a full moon! <laughs> So take a look at this castle. What do you think of it, Robin? Oh, it's a magnificent structure. And but I'm really excited about spending the night here tonight and seeing if we can contact the spirits. So I'm going to check in Manresa. Get ready, ghosts. It's a full moon on a Sunday night, and it's a uh, it's a private home that was built in 1892. It was the home of Charles and Kate Eisenbeis, and then wasn't it uh, owned by some monks or in 1928? Oh, the Jesuits. In 1928, the Jesuits brought the property and added a wing and transformed the castle into a training college. They named the building the Manresa Hall after okay. the, the town in Spain where Ignatius Loyola, Loyola founded the Jesuit order. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then um, after the Jesuits left in 1968, the building was converted into a hotel, yeah. and it was renamed Manresa Castle. And so we do know that it is haunted. Yes. Robin looked up some info, and there was a Jesuit priest who had hung himself in the attic, right? Yes. And a woman who was waiting for her lover to return from the war, and when he didn't come back, she threw her out, out the, the window. window. Out the window. So yeah. we're hoping to connect. When we when we checked in, we asked uh, what the most haunted floors were, and so we are on one of the most haunted floors. We didn't want to spend a ton of money, so we got like the cheapest room. So we we got, there's three haunted rooms on this floor, but this isn't one of them, but we're like sandwiched in. Yeah. And so we did try to bribe the little gal at the front desk to give us one of the haunted suites. She says, I can't do it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. So we got in here and then we left the door uh, open and then it was like kind of closing squeaking. by squeaking and opening by itself. So that's the first you know, spooky and then the thing. phone rang. Then the phone rang. This was so funny. So the phone rang. It said no caller ID. I usually won't even pick up a, a call like that, except I thought maybe it's one of the ghosts calling. I mean, who That's knows? That's right. right. You answered it like, hello. I said hello. <laughs> and, and it was some guy, like he wanted, oh, yeah, is this Marla? Uh, I want to ask about your healing services. And I was like, he was kind of weird. And uh, anyway, I told him I, to give, I wanted to get his number. I'd call him. Tomorrow, he said he'd call me back, so. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Well, anyway, so what we're gonna do is, I've got the candles going. All right, oh, I gotta show you my purchase that I made down in downtown uh, Port Townsend today. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. look at this, you guys. I'm gonna try to get the name, look at, look at, ooh, look at this skull, isn't ooh. she amazing? Look at the roses, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> isn't she beautiful? She's gorgeous. So, I'm gonna get her name on the board. I made, I forgot to bring my board with me on this trip, so I made one just now uh, with a notebook. All I did was write the alphabet. That's gonna be my talking board. And my planchette is gonna be this, uh, just this little crystal. So we're gonna get some messages on here. I'm gonna ask this skull what she wants to be named. We're gonna try to connect with the ghosts uh, here in the castle, so I will uh, pop back in to let you know about that, what we get. And uh, what else? Oh, we're gonna walk the halls, we're gonna take pictures, try to get some orbs, trying to get something going, because it is a full moon, it's Sunday night, Robin and I have been friends for 35 years. What? How is that possible? Because I'm only 30. What? I'm I mean, do we look, how old do we look, you guys? I mean, we met when we were like one and a half. No. <laughs> We met in Hollywood. Yeah. In the 80s, man. Yeah. When we were working in restaurants. And we're still friends all these years later. How'd that and happen? adventures, adventures. That's what life's about, you guys. All right. So uh, let's get on this uh, communication. Okay. So we just did the seance, and I used the uh, talking board that I made. 
uh, and I used as a planchette, actually, I used this piece of fluorite, which was pretty cool. <music> if there was, we were any spirits here. And do you want to read what... Robin took notes, so mm -hmm. let us know what she said. Well, uh, she the first thing we heard was, hello, girls. And it was spelled girls, not goyles. So <laughs> she, nah, she's not from New York. Uh, and then later we got, hi, fabulous to be with you, which made me wonder if it was a gay man. And maybe the Jesuit <laughs> priest was, was gay. But then uh, we asked if it was a man or a woman, and we got, it was a woman. And she, Marla asked what her name was. And she said, I am Gabby. Mm -hmm. So we assumed that was short for Gabrielle. And then she said, uh, Marla asked if she lived, where she lived. Is she, she one of these ghosts? Is she uh, one of the ghosts yes. that lives here in the castle? She said, and she, yes. She said yes. And she wrote back and said, long time ago, I lived here in this place. Mm -hmm. And welcome, ladies. Yeah. Uh, be aware that ghosts are here and love to talk. And, and she said, will you be a conduit for us? Yeah, she did. Yeah. She asked if we would be a conduit. And then, Oh, I asked if I take photos, will you show yourselves as an orb? And, and she said, yes. Please take photos, she yeah, said. So we're gonna uh, and then she said, this, is so, this cute. Was so cute. Every night is ghost night here. Every night's ghost night. Every night is ghost, ghost night. night. Yeah. So then I asked her to please uh, name Help me to either ask this skull what it would like to be named or to name this skull. And guess what she said? She named it and she said, Rose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Marla asked her, she goes, are you just naming her that because you see the roses around her head? And she's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but so. I said, okay, that's cute. I like it. And then, and, then uh, she got offended and said, bye. No, she didn't get offended. <laughs> We don't know if she got offended. No, but no, she, but then she was she, tired of us. Yeah, so. then she just said uh, goodbye, and uh, we said we'd tune in later. So yeah. we, we got somebody on here, and uh, it was pretty exciting. Yeah, her name's Gabby. Gabby! We love you, Gabby. And Rose. And she's fabulous. She's fabulous. And she thinks we're fabulous. We're fabulous. Now we're going to go run down, up and down the halls. Oh. Robin, how was the yeah. seance last night? It was amazing. Let me just tell you. Uh, I, seriously, it was pretty cool. Uh, loved having Abby, uh, Gabby show up and talk to us and call us fabulous. Um, really wished we could have had a little more of an experience with her, but um, 